Hey everybody, welcome to episode 182. I am Adam Laring, and today we are going to be looking at the Override Node Options module. This module basically allows exactly what the title says. It allows you to override certain fields on the node uh, when you're creating it. So if you look at this image here, you can kind of get an idea. So you see here that there is um, different options that you can then allow different roles to um, either see or not see based on your configuration. So for example, we're looking at authored by option, authored on, promoting to front page, promoting uh, publishing options, stuff like that. I believe it is only for the um, authoring information, yeah, right here. It says only for authoring information and publishing field options. So as you'll see as we go through, it's just into those two um, field sets. But anyway, we're going to be taking a look at that. I am using the 7 version, 7.1.13. So make sure that you, if you're not using the same version as me, um, to take that into consideration. Uh, pretty, like I said, pretty simple module to install, and we're going to get to it here in a second. The other thing I wanted to, of course, do is head on over to Code Karate and just show you a few, few things. Um, if you haven't yet, check out our cheat sheets. Um, we have both one on Git and on Drush. Uh, check those out. Those are completely free. Also, if you're on Code Karate, check out our other post and check out our ebook as well. Um, Five Secrets to Becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja. All right, so let's get to the module. So we go ahead and we're going to download the module, which I have already done. And we will enable the module. So I'm going to head on over here oops, to modules. And you'll see it here under the permission section, override node options. And just click on that to get that enabled. All right, so once it's enabled, then all that's left to do is set the permissions. But before um, I do that, I want to um, show you what the default would look like. So I'm going to double check and make sure I don't have nothing preset here. Um, okay, so as you see here, this is the override node options section, and nothing is checked. So it's all default as you will, will be when you download it. So what I've done is I have two different roles on my site. So if I go up to people here, permissions and roles, you'll see that I have just, well, three roles actually. This is the default ones. I have administrator, authenticated, and anonymous. I have created another um, authenticated user which um, is bugs here so he's an authenticated guy so once I head over here and I've given him some pre permissions but basically if I come over here and I'm gonna add a basic page content type you'll see that here I can do the title the body like you would expect and I don't see anything else uh, minus some defaults that I've given him from permissions so you see there's those options right there so it's kind of important to keep those in mind so we head back over here to the permission section Oops. and you'll see here that I've given him comments and that's administer comments and that's why he then can see this comment setting section here this is very important very very important uh, note here to right here administer content this permission if you give a role this permission right here it will override and not basically make the override node options module irrelevant so if I click on this um, I will get obviously well here I'll just do it so if I click administer content and I come in here and save it and I come over here back to my authenticated user bugs and refresh now you can see that I have all these options okay which is maybe what you want for this certain user but if you're using this node um, override module you're uh, not going to want that box checked for this role at least. Uh, one thing you can note though is, okay, so here we have published, promoted to front page, and sticky at top of list. Those are the three fields in there. Um, but with this override module, I can sh show only some of these or all of these or whatever I'd like. So I'm going to uncheck that box because I do not want that. And if I head down here to the override node options section, You'll see it's broken down every, by each content type I have, um, article and basic page. But let's say I want to be able to give this authenticated person the ability to 
uh, make sticky top to the pages and uh, let's see what else I want. Oh well, let's just eh, let's do front page too. So promote to the front page option. So let's go ahead and save that. Come back over here. And now you'll see that I have these two options now available to me. Again, remember I took off the administer content role, so if I were to uncheck these two boxes, which I'm going to do just to show you here, it's going to go back to the default. And then these two fields are going to disappear, and the whole publishing options field set is going to go away as well, which it does. Okay, so we're going to turn those back on. Real quick here, uh, so your sticky and promoter front page I had checked. Um, you can do other ones too, like you can do authored on, authored by, you can do a bunch. Uh, come back here, I'm going to see a few more things here now. So now I can see the authored information, which I just checked, and then the publishing two fields I just checked as well. So that is that really is all the override uh, know what options module does but again it does allow you fine grain control on certain fields um, it will again it's the two fields in the authoring it's the fields excuse me in the authoring information and the publishing options uh, field sets these other three you see above are handled by different permissions um, you know for example like I showed you the comment section uh, menu section and then um, URL section so like menu if I get rid of that um, URLs down here somewhere uh, where is that one at? Ah, uh, path, here we go. Get rid of those. So if I save that, then again, I can really control what this person will see in the end. So now you see those ones are gone. Comment's still there. I could get rid of that if I wanted. Again. So if I do that. I can really decide on what I want this user to use. Or to see, excuse me. So now it's gone, and now these are those fields I've checked. So obviously, uh, this is a, this whole module as well as other uh, field permissions are important when you have non-technical people using your site, and you don't want them to see stuff that they don't understand. Um, so you can really get a fine grain control, so they only see when they're creating content the stuff that they need to see, and they don't ask you questions like, "What's this mean? Do I need to click this um, or not?" Um, or if you're building a website for a customer, same thing. Only give them what they what they need. Don't give them anything else because it just creates headaches for you. Um, so anyway, that is the module. Uh, if you have any questions about the module, make sure you leave them in the comments section below the post. Otherwise, again, head on over to Code Karate, check it out. Let us know what you think about everything. Um, also, you know, like I said, check out the cheat sheets, check out the ebook. Uh, and that's it. All right, guys. Until our next episode, talk to you later.